Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are headed back underwater. The fall transition has begun in a lot of parts of this country. Fall is fast approaching and the underspin is one of our favorite ways to catch these fish. So we've got underwater footage of 10 different baits for you. We're going to compare their actions, look at different colors, what these different styles of baits are for. It should be really informative. Come along. We're taking 10 of these baits subsurface today. The first five are the most common underspins. These are baits that we have a lot of confidence in. Other anglers have a lot of confidence in. They're universal. You can use them for all sorts of different things. After those first five, we're going to talk about two weedless baits. We're going to have a look at those. Then we're going to follow it up with three oddballs or curveballs for you. The first one, a bait to throw when they just don't seem to want to react. The second, a bait for you guys that are on fisheries that don't have shad. Are you on a bluegill lake? Are you in a pond? Other bait fish? Other pan fish? This one's for you. And then last, a little bit larger profile for you guys that are around larger bait fish. So 10 baits in total. Now we're about to head underwater. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that now. In addition to subscribing, you need to hit that little bell symbol, turn it on. That's the notifications so that YouTube will notify you when a new video comes out. They're changing the way that notifications are handled. If you don't do that, even if you're a subscriber, you won't know when the new videos happen. It's constantly changing. We want to keep up with it. We want you to keep up with it, but that's what it takes now. So enough of that. Let's hut underwater this first bait, the Blade Runner Spin Tricks, one of my personal favorites. Let's have a look. Now this is the Blade Runner Screw Lock Spin Tricks head. You're seeing it here in the 3 8 ounce size. Notice how much rock, side to side movement, we're getting out of the head of that bait. You can really see it here in the slow motion footage. Now this bait is paired up with a 4.3 Kitek. That's the ghost rainbow color. The head itself is the anchovy color. Hands down my favorite shad imitator because you get an incredible amount of flash as that head is coming through the water and rocking with the movement of that bait. The other color that I really like for that head is gray shad. Now we're going to link all of the baits, the different sizes, the colors, everything down in the video description so you don't have to try and memorize any of this. For now, just enjoy the footage and I'll explain what you're seeing. Next up, you're going to see a completely different bait. This is the Hog Farmer War Pig HD. Again, we're seeing it in a 3 8 ounce here. Notice it's a much more rounded head. You don't get that flash off of the side of the head like you do with the Blade Runner, but it's a fantastic profile and you still get a ton of rock and roll as that paddle tail moves the head of that bait. I love to throw this bait in deeper water. I throw it in everything from a 3 8 to a 3 quarter the exact same sizes that I throw the Blade Runner. Some of the other baits that you're going to see, I like in much smaller sizes, but this bait is fantastic for getting down deep, probing ledges, rock piles, coming out over deeper edges of flats and creek channels. Here it is moving much faster. This bait tracks extremely well at any speed. Next up, we have the Sixth Sense Divine Underspin. You're seeing it here in a half ounce in the baby shad color. This is one of those industry standard baits. It's really taken off in the last few years. And a lot of anglers have a ton of confidence in this bait. What I like about it 
is that it has a lighter wire hook for its size, much lighter than the previous two. So I tend to throw this bait only in a half ounce and only in open water. This is a bait that I use a lot for smallmouth and spotted bass when they're schooling on bait fish out in the open. That's just where my personal confidence lies with this bait. Again, paired with a 4.3 Kitek, this time in that electric shad color. Next, we're downsizing here. This is the Damiki Rig Underspin. Look at how much movement this thing has in the water. Side to side, top to bottom, everything is moving. Again, we're talking about a 3 8 ounce here, 2 watt hook. At the moment, you're seeing it paired with the Armor Shad swim bait. We're also going to show it to you with two very, very different baits here in a moment. This next bait is what I would call dead action. That is the Armor Shad jerk bait. There's no tail at all, just a fork tail like a fluke. In some of the southern states, this is extremely popular. Less so in the west. We love to throw those paddle tails. But there is a time and a place for that, if you will, dead action on the back of an underspin. But as we were shooting this video, we decided to pair this head up with the Reaction Innovations Shiver Shot, and look what happens here. Completely different action. All of a sudden we took a dead action bait, you're getting a ton of side to side rock and wobble. It is actually swimming through the water. Completely different than you could get with a paddle tail swim bait, and completely different than that dead action. This is so unique. It never fails when we watch this underwater footage that we come up with something completely different than we expected. And this right here is it. Your fish have never seen a Damiki rig underspin paired up with a shiver shot with a motion like that in the water. Now we're moving on here quickly to the cool baits down under underspin. We throw this in the 1 8 ounce. We keep it simple. For me, this is primarily a cold water bait. I like to throw this bait when nothing else works, and this is what I like to do with it. I run this bait right on the bottom. It does so well fished like this. Just crawl it along, let it tick the rocks, Bounce along, that's a 2.8 Kitek. That tells you how small that bait is. And the fish just come get it. Next, we're taking a look at those weedless heads. We've got two of them. This is the Trocar. Now that's a 4.8 Kitek, a much larger bait. And that is only the Trocar 3 aught hook. Look how well that pairs up and only a 3 aught. That's important so you don't order the wrong size. Great rock and roll, completely weedless, and it'll do a great job down along the bottom as well. You can see how it tracks, bumps through the rocks, and it is not going to hang up regardless of what it comes in contact with. Now the next one is going to be the owner flashy swimmer. Same concept, weedless head, but here instead of a 4.8 Kitek, we've paired it up with that river to sea D Walker 120. This is the PB red color. I have been telling you guys for months that this bait did this. We finally got around to filming it. Have you ever seen a bait that kicks so hard that it wags the head, it moves everything, in such a unique way. The fish have never seen that action until this bait hit the market a few months ago.
Up next, we have the Matt Allen Swimbait Head. This is my head, quarter ounce, paired up with a 4.8 Kitek. You see that rock and roll, that movement? That's coming from that 30 degree line tie. Again, I love that destabilized action where that bait is just rocking and flashing. We put this in here because obviously it's not an underspin. We put it here because there's times when they just turn away from the underspin and they want that natural profile and this is a great option. After this, we turn to the Mega Bass. A very different bait here. It's skirted. This bait is for you guys that have been asking, what do I do in the fall if I don't have any shad around? What if it's a bluegill fishery or other pan fish or large bait fish? A skirt is a perfect way to fluff up, enlarge that profile and get those fish. Now, last but not least, number 10, that is a Kitek 5.8. That is a very large bait. You're looking at the Gambler Does It 7 aught hook with a very large willow leaf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as Tim and I enjoyed heading underwater and getting this footage for you. Getting down below the surface, seeing these different baits gives you a completely different perspective than anything you can gain from above water. The baits are moving in ways you don't expect. They flash, they vibrate, they shimmy, they throw all sorts of light whether or not the blade is moving. It's incredible what you can learn just getting below the surface and watching. We definitely have some favorites. I'm sure you do too at this point. Now, we're going to follow this up in a couple of weeks with an incredibly in-depth fall underspin video. This was just kicking it off. We wanted you to see the baits first. In a couple of weeks, we'll give you a full understanding of how they work, when to throw them, where to throw them, what we're using each bait for. But we wanted you to get that first look. I know some of you are a little bit farther along in the fall transition. You wanna get your baits now while they're still available and you can get fishing. So this was for you. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.